Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to Yogi Cycle Service. Today, we got two projects on this bike. This is a customer's bike. Uh, earlier, probably about a month, two months ago, we put some new handlebars on the bike. And in putting on the handlebars, we discovered a few service items that we needed to address. First one, the uh, rear brake, the master cylinder. When you pull on the brake and you let go of the brake, it had a very slow return slow enough that the turn signal or the tail light rather was not turning off until about a minute two minutes later to build enough pressure back in i think the spring on the plunger on the master cylinder is not pushing that um pushing that plunger back out and, and getting that lever to return back to the brake switch to turn off that switch so we're going to tackle that problem today but also i noticed on his throttle body when you when you turn the when you turn the the throttle and, and twist the throttle it just it, it felt very sticky and uh, it still feels sticky and I, I did a little bit of cleaning on it but didn't get it fully clean uh, and it's not it's, it's still sticky now I don't like it and I don't like um, working on bikes and having them leave the garage here and them not being hundred percent so we brought the customers bike back in today so the air cleaner off and get into the throttle body we picked up some throttle body and air intake cleaner that we're going to use on this got this over at walmart it's like seven eight dollars for a bottle of it uh it is similar to like a brake cleaner but it's much less aggressive than a brake cleaner so if there are sensors inside that throttle body uh, it shouldn't affect those sensors and, and um, corrode them or do any kind of damage to them where a brake cleaner might do that so you want to be really careful on what you use inside that throttle body so definitely get something designed for it, throttle body and air intake cleaner. I'll put the link uh, in the description to everything that we use today so you can, uh, you can get it. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and, and dig in. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a, a 5 8 It is a socket Allen uh, and take the air cleaner off. cleaner is off just put that up on the seat get it out of the way uh, next is a star bit and that star bit see if it has a size a t27 uh, star bit and then remove the three bolts that hold the clamp on that in turn holds on your outer cover these are long bolts they go all the way through the air filter and into the backing plate. This is a stock uh, Harley filter, not an aftermarket filter. It was just put on here recently, so we know, uh, I know that it does not need to be replaced at this time. the two hoses to the backing plate pull the air filter off if you look that elf air filter is pretty clean there's no use that we can't reuse it the um, gasket on the back is still in, in good condition so we'll reuse that filter now that you have that off we have the two breather bolts here uh, we need to pull those off those are done with a socket all right those two bolts they come off with a socket the two breather bolts come off with a socket and you use a 7 16 socket for that. All right, both breather bolts are removed. The backing plate is removed and the throttle body is exposed. Now that we have it exposed, this throttle body, when you, when you turn, twist the throttle, the plate on the inside opens up. So when we clean this out, what winds up happening is all this buildup of the carbon deposits get on the inside of this and build that up. I'll show you what that looks like. You can see there the backing plate and when you twist that throttle that opens up. On uh, this throttle body 
along where this plate lines up, a lot of carbon buildup gets in there and periodically that needs to be cleaned off. So we're gonna use that spray and go ahead and get that clean. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the throttle. We're gonna put a screwdriver in there to keep that open so we can spray it and let it uh, get a rag and then we can wipe it out and then we can let it air dry. All right, now that we have this open up and exposed, let's go ahead and get the throttle body. Let's get it opened up. Put a screwdriver. Well, that's probably actually gonna be a little big, so let's get something a little smaller. Put that in there to hold it open. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is spray all along the edge where it makes contact. Spray the front of the plate and spray the back of the plate. Have some paper towels ready. Spray where the pins go into the side of the throttle body. And you can see it's, it's pulling out dirt because that fluid's coming out of a brownish black color. It's pulling all that carbon out of there. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. And we'll take one of our other shop towels and we'll go in there and, and wipe it down. It does dry pretty quickly, so you don't have to sit for very long. Go ahead and get this out of here. And just wipe as, as much on the inside, twist your throttle to keep it open. And wipe down as much on the inside as you can. Let that close. Wipe on the outside plate. You can see how much gunk and grime, gunk and grime we're, we're pulling out of there. Let's go ahead and shoot it some more. down open it back up again so we can let it dry and we'll just let it sit for a couple minutes while it dries out then we'll uh, we'll test it out and give it the twist and see if that alleviates some of the stickiness from there all right uh, now that it's had time to sit for a few minutes let's go ahead and pull this out as we twist that throttle it feels a lot better it feels like it sticks a whole lot less than it used to stick. So good. So that's done. Let's go ahead and get this uh, get this put back together for them. Put the uh, make sure we're lined up. Get the backing plate put on. Insert your two breather bolts. Again, we're using a 7 16 inch socket on there. Then, get them tight. There we go. Next, we're going to put the air filter on. And when you put the air filter on, you're going to want to make sure that the holes are lined up, that everything's still lined up with your gasket. The gasket's still in good condition. Your, your hoses are set and in the air filter. And then you're going to put these two hoses onto the nipples of your breather boat, breather ball. Two hoses on, set your backing plate in, and it should be able to set and, and stay right there without the bolts put in, then you know you got it. All right, now that you have your filter on there, you're gonna put your backing plate on. There we go, put your backing plate on, Put your three bolts in. And again, you're going to use the T27 star bit to tighten those down. All three bolts are in and started. And that is a 
That is a paper filter, so you want to make sure that when you're putting these in that, that you do not over tighten this and uh, crush that filter. So just get them in so they're nice and snug. I'm sure there is a torque specification in the owner's manual. If you have a service manual, I would suggest checking that for torque specifications. I just put it in so till it's nice and snug. All right, now that your three bolts are set, we'll go ahead and put the cover on it. Again, using the uh, 5 16 Allen. So there you go. Again, I am not a certified train mechanic, but I know that when my throttle is sticking, one of the places other than your throttle and idle cable lines, you'll uh, want to check that. But I know since we just put these handlebars on, that on this customer's bike, the throttle and the idle lines were set correctly and in good shape. I knew that the throttle body was sticking. Uh, so we took the time today to take that apart, clean it up with a throttle body intake cleaner. And the results of that showed me, yeah, his throttle body was probably kind of nasty. So that said, uh, his throttle body is cleaner now. Uh, first project, first project on this bike today is done. Uh, tune back in for the next video. We're going to pull apart his master brake cylinder and get the spring and the plunger changed out of that. And we'll be back to you here shortly. Thank you for joining Yogi's Cycle Shop. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, subscribe share, see us on Instagram, and see us on Facebook. And I thank you for watching. So I wanted to create this video as a disclaimer to the last video. I did notice after we were done recording that we put his air cleaner cover on upside down. We caught that. We fixed that. It is now right side back, right side up before he got back on the road taken care of. Oops. <laughs> All right, y'all. God bless. Peace.